Hello and welcome to learn system view in five minutes. This is tutorial 12. In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to customize our working preferences and how to deal with bus connectivity modes or what we call as bus connections. Now, all the working preferences regarding graph, uh, schematic, and general startup, all those things in system view can be controlled by going to tools, options, and using a lot of these tabs, we can customize the overall working experience. For example, if you have been using system view for some time and notice that only uh, one workspace can be open at a time, but what if you have to copy paste um, among different workspaces and so on? So to enable that, once you go to general tab and here there's an option which allows you to open multiple workspaces, that means in your tree, you could have more than one workspace associated. So let me show you a small demo later once we are through with this. Now, if you don't want to see simulation status window, you can also switch on this option. However, I will not recommend it to use because in case of you know, knowing the simulation progress or error, it's difficult to find out. Similarly, by going to schematic tab, we can decide the schematic uh, you know, preferences especially whether you want to allow dragging of wires from terminal while moving the components, whether you want the parts to be connected or not connected. And also you can switch on and switch off the grid viewability on your schematic. Similarly, for graph, you can go to graph and you can select the default color traces, what you want to have and different graph options. Also under fonts, you can decide fonts which you want to use in your data set. Um, on your graph, on your schematic and table and so on. So feel free to explore these uh, options for your work and totally customize the look and feel how you would prefer to work uh, within the system view environment. Now, another interesting topic uh, we want to talk about is how to make those um, bus connections. Because remember we talked about components like adder or even having a MATLAB block and if we have activated multi-port you know, connections for MATLAB. Now, if you have to connect you know, two items to a specific block, for example, let me place two, two inputs which we may want to pass to this um, you know, block, that's fine. Within two or three components, you can manage by taking the care that these wires get connected right at that node where you want to eventually feed the input. However, if you have a um, you know, condition where you may want to pass you know, uh, multiple items, let's say these many items have to be passed to this adder or to this MATLAB block, whatever. Now, in order to make that process easy, uh, you could use a concept in system view called bus connection. So let me remove some of these pieces so that we can just explain that concept using these two blocks. Now to start with, what we will do, we'll just stretch a small you know, wire in front of every terminal which we want to connect. Now each terminal or each wire is like a net and we can double click on that wire and we can give net some name. Now usually the net name we use has one alphabet with braces and then the numbering. So the numbering uh, starts from one typically and then where if you want to have the same net base, you could type and use the same alphabet, but in you know increment the number by one. So let's say in this case, I have one and two. Similarly, if you have 10, you can go from A1 to A10. Now, if you want to feed those inputs to this multi-input or multi-port block, we can double click on this wire. And here, just to make it as a bus, we will use the same alphabet. But now we will use the index like one colon two. Now, if you have 10 inputs to be connected, you can say one colon 10. Now, depending upon what you have um, in your design to be feed. So now you notice this wire is shown as thick, whereas this wire is still thin. And that is the distinction or the visual distinction which system you can provide you in order to know the difference between wire and bus. So this is an easier way, it keeps your schematic clutter free, not having wire floating around from 10 different locations. Now, imagine, uh, remember we talked about in tools option, we set uh, allow multiple workspaces. So if we select this option, and now let's, 
let's go to the another workspace which we were working on let's say qpsk modulator now once we select because that option is selected now you can notice there are two workspaces which are open at the same time and this will allow us to copy paste things uh, for example i want to copy this matlab function from qpsk modulator workspace back to this design and i could just simply right click copy i could right click on the destination design folder and we can click on placed so now this my function and my function is copied between the two workspaces now once the job of other workspace is over for example now i no longer need qpsk modulator workspace i can right click and select close workspace and the workspace will be closed and we are back to our original condition so these are small tricks, but they help you quite a lot once you deal with some of these complex scenarios in day-to-day -day life. Thanks for watching the video and hope you liked the content presented here.